Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have all new Dollar Tree DIYs to share with you. All of these DIYs are going to be perfect for spring and they were all designed to go together. So if you wanna make a few of them or all of them, they should all work perfectly as a set. But if these colors are not your style, do not worry. All of the techniques that I'm gonna be showing you in today's video can be applied to any color scheme you like. And all of these DIYs are really easy and super simple. So be sure to check out the whole video. And if you are new here, please do consider subscribing down below. So let's jump right into the first DIY. So for this first DIY, I picked up three hardcover books from Dollar Tree. The first thing I did was just remove the dust jacket from the book. Now I'm going to go ahead and paint the outside and I'm going to be using my favorite white chalk paint. I just get this one from Amazon. I'll be sure to leave it linked down below. I love chalk paint because it covers these projects really quickly and easily. So I made sure to paint all of the outside and you want to make sure just to get the edges as well. So everything is nice and uniform. So this was my set of books after one coat of paint. And now I'm going to be using these blue butterfly stickers from Dollar Tree. These are actually special stickers that are made to go on a wall. So they have a really nice finish to them. Instead of feeling kind of like paper, they have a much sturdier feel to them, which makes them great for DIYs. And you actually get a full set of stickers on the front and back, which is really nice. So to get started, you just want to take some of your stickers and start placing them on your top book. And they honestly apply really well. I wasn't sure if I was going to have to seal them with Mod Podge, but I had no issue whatsoever. I just put them exactly where I wanted them and they stayed down nice and flat. So I'm just kind of trying to make a nice design on the front here. And then for this one here, I decided to actually cut it in half and kind of just fold it under the cover of the book. That way it looks like the wings are starting to peek out. I also made sure to put one down the spine of the book because I thought that would just kind of give it a little bit more interest. Now for the other books, I'm not going to focus too much on the center since we are going to be creating a book stack, we're not going to be seeing that part. So you just want to add some stickers to the edges because those are the only parts that you're going to see sticking out. If these stickers are not your style, you could definitely recreate this DIY using stamps or even just hand painting a different design. So now that I have all of my books decorated, I'm going to go ahead and put them right back into their stack. And then I found this ribbon at Dollar Tree. And what I love about this ribbon is that it has the burlap and the lace. So you kind of get two in one and it gives it just a really beautiful look. All I want to do here is just pull out enough ribbon to put underneath all three books. And then I'm just going to make sure to leave myself a little bit of extra on top just so I can make a nice bow. And this ribbon does have wire in it, which is wonderful because it really helps when you want to just shape that bow and give it a little bit of dimension. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cut my ends into a ducktail and we can actually stop here and be done. But I just have a personal preference. Whenever I paint items like this, I do like to add little protective felt feet to the bottom. That way I know whichever surface I place this on is nice and protected. And I just picked these up at Dollar Tree. They come in a really big pack with a lot of sizes and you can find that in the hardware department. And here's a closer look at how this DIY turned out. It really is so simple, but I love the look of this one. I think it's so sweet and perfect for spring. And this would also be a great technique to use on a journal. If you just want to personalize it a little bit more, you can totally redecorate the outside of it. Next DIY, I'm going to be using this wood plank board that I found in the crafter square at Dollar Tree. You can really use a bunch of their different wood shapes. I just like the size of this one. And I want to go ahead and just paint it before I start to decorate it. And for me, I'm just going to be using this spray paint today, a plain matte white spray paint, but you can definitely paint it by hand. If you prefer that method, you can definitely use white chalk paint like we did before, or even white acrylic paint. But I just like the nice, even coat of the spray paint. So now that my board is dry, I'm going to go ahead and add that same ribbon that we just used for a book stack 
to the ends of our board. This is just going to make it look a little bit more finished and it's going to tie it into our first DIY. So I'm just measuring it to make sure I have enough to wrap it around the ends and then I'm just going to be hot gluing it in the back to secure it in place. Like I mentioned before, I really do think that this ribbon is so beautiful. I'm definitely going to have to head back to Dollar Tree and stock up on a few more. It really is like getting two in one here. So now I'm going to go ahead and just repeat that same process on the other side, but I do want to make sure to just flip my ribbon around. That way the lace scalloped edge is facing towards the center. Now to decorate the center of our board, we're going to be using these rub on transfers that I found in the craft after square at Dollar Tree. They actually had quite a few different ones to choose from, but I just love the look of this. I think it has such a cool look with a font that says farm fresh flowers. And I love the little pictures that it comes with. So if you haven't used these rub on transfers before, they are really easy to use. All you want to do is go ahead and just cut out whichever images you want to use. Then you can just kind of play with them and get them where you want them. Once you know exactly where they're going to go, you can go ahead and peel off that white paper backing and then place the clear transfer onto the surface that you want to put it onto. So once you have it in place, you can just start to rub the transfer with your nail. I prefer to use a small tool and you're actually going to kind of see it turn almost gray. And that means that it is lifting off of the plastic onto the surface that you want to transfer it onto. I do find that these are really easy to work with. It might take one or two tries just to kind of get the hang of it. But then once you do, you will definitely get into a groove and it goes really fast. And I think that this process is actually really fun. So now we're almost done, but we just want to style our board. So I found this little easel at Dollar Tree in their crafter square, and I'm just going to be using it to display our sign that we created. And then I figured it would be nice to add some faux florals to the top. So I found these faux lavender stems, and I'm just going to be adding them to the top here. You could also cut them and hot glue them, but I kind of just stuck them in place. And here is a closer look at how this one turned out. Again, this is just an idea. If you want to create any sign, check out all of the different rub on transfers they have, or you can even stencil something in the center, but it's just a really fun and easy way to create a spring sign. This next DIY is using one of my favorite techniques ever. So to start off with, I'm going to be grabbing one of the glass vases from Dollar Tree. You can pick any shape. I just thought this one would work well for the look I was going for. Now I just want to go ahead and spray paint it on the outside with a nice matte white coat. When your vase is dry, you're going to want to grab some decorative paper napkins with a design that you really like. So you will see that the background in the napkin here is white, which matches our white paint on our vase. And that is what is going to really camouflage our images into blending into the vase like it's actually painted onto it. When in reality, we're just going to be doing some decoupage. So I picked these ones here because they have the blue flowers in them and I wanted it to go with our theme today in our video, but you can use any napkin you like as long as it has a white background that can blend into the white paint. And I did pick these up on Amazon, so they're not from Dollar Tree, but I will be sure to leave them linked down below in the video description box. First thing you want to do is just unfold your napkin. Then you're going to see that there are actually two layers here. Go ahead and peel off that white back layer. We will not be needing that. Now I'm going to actually go ahead and start cutting out the images that I want to use on my vase. So you don't have to be perfect here. You want to get it pretty close to the image, but the part that's white of our napkin really is going to camouflage and you're not going to really see those edges once we lay it onto the vase. So here's my first one. And then this is about 10 minutes later after I cut out a bunch of different blue florals, I wanted to get kind of a good combination of big ones and little ones to kind of fill out the vase nicely. Next, I'm going to grab some matte Mod Podge. You can find this one at Dollar Tree and a foam brush. You can also use a regular brush for this, but you want to make sure that it is nothing too stiff because you don't want to rip the paper napkin. It is delicate when you add the Mod Podge to it. And to apply your images, you want to go ahead, add a little bit of Mod Podge to your vase, put on one of your flowers or whichever image you're using. 
make sure it is nice and flat and then seal it on top with some more Mod Podge. I like to actually use my fingers sometimes for this process. I find that it's really easy. So I went ahead and added all of my larger images first, and then I went in with my smaller ones just to fill it out. Then you want to give it a few hours to dry, and you can even do one final coat to seal everything in place of Mod Podge. Let that dry overnight and you are done. This technique is so fun. You can really make some beautiful pieces and I just find it so relaxing. You guys will definitely have to let me know if you try it out. This next DIY will work with any of the plates and bowls at Dollar Tree, but I picked this set up because of course I wanted it to match with our theme today, but also I think that these are some of the most beautiful plates I have ever seen at Dollar Tree. They feel like such good quality. They are beautiful. The image almost has a little bit of a raised effect to it and it just really pops. I love those bright blue colors on the white porcelain. These are truly something special from Dollar Tree. So we are actually going to be making two cake stands. Now you can actually use these just to kind of hold decorative objects. And I'm going to show you a couple examples after we create this DIY, but these are really great for a bunch of different uses. So I grabbed two of the bowls and two different size plates, and I'm also going to be using my hot glue and some E6000. So this one is really crucial here because we want these to have a strong hold. Hot glue alone is definitely not enough. You're going to want to grab some E6000. I will leave this one linked down below in the video description box. I just ordered from Amazon, but this is going to give you that permanent hold. So to get started, grab one of your plates. I'm going to get started with my larger one. And you also want to grab one of the bowls. So I'm going to flip it upside down and I'm going to start off by adding my E6000 glue to the bottom of my bowl here. So the reason I'm using both glues is just because I want the permanent hold of the E6000, but I do like to get that quick hold from the hot glue gun, but you do not have to use the hot glue gun. If you just want to use one, just use the E6000, but you will have to wait for it to dry before you move it. So with the hot glue, it just gives you a little bit more reassurance before the E6000 has time to permanently set. That way you know it's going to stay in place, but you can definitely just use the E6000. So now I'm going to go ahead, repeat that same process with my second one. I added my glue to my bowl. Now I'm going to flip my plate over and then just hold it in place. You do want to hold it for a few seconds or a minute or two, and then you can just let it dry completely overnight. And here are my cake stands. I think that this one is probably one of my favorite DIYs ever because it is so simple but these have to be some of my favorite cake stands I have ever created using Dollar Tree items. I have made quite a few over the years, but these are so simple and I think that they are just so beautiful. They definitely look like something you purchased in a store and did not DIY. I think they're great to use for a cake or treats, but also you can display objects on them like a candle. And that is everything for today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed these DIYs. If you did, please let me know down below in the video description box. I'm working on some new spring DIYs right now, but I would love to hear from you guys if you have any suggestions or or if there is something in particular you would like to see from me, let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. To subscribe to my channel, you can click on my picture right here.